Welcome to the first ever East Coast Greenway Alliance Southeast Greenways and Trails Virtual Summit. We are so delighted to have you here. Um, we're grateful to our sponsors for supporting this event and being able to reach you in this virtual manner. My name is Devin Cowens. I am the Summit and Event Specialist for the East Coast Greenway Alliance. And I'm here with Nedra Dudweiler, who was the CEO of Civil Bikes. And Nedra will be speaking on trails that encourage belonging. Nedra? Thanks, Devin. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. It's really great to have you here. Um, as Devin said, I am Nedra Deadweiler. I, found, I founded Civil Bikes six and a half years ago. So we are um, burgeoning on a new frontier by being here today. And also, um, we're evaluating um, our program. So this, this opportunity is great because it gives us an opportunity a chance to talk through some of the things that I have learned over these years around creating trails and tours experiences that encourage belonging, which is um, I found to be one of the most profound things um, in the feedback that I receive from people who join us. So looking forward to um, getting started. So. Um, just to give you an overview of what we'll talk about, I just want to say at the top that trails are everywhere, urban environment, suburban, rural roadways, um, and these can be experienced um, in a guided situation and also self-guided. Um, today I'm going to cover about, about what is wanted, what people want from the experience on being on a trail, um, in, in, well, also in the context um, a bit on a tour. What does this look like when an organization designs it? And what, what is the difference when it's co-created with community? What are some of the challenges? What does success look like? Um, what exactly creates belongingness? Um, and then some best practices. So, um, so at the start, we're looking at what do people want? Um, and when we look at all these panels here, the, the central focus is that um, that people are looking for a sense of connectedness. Um, they want to have a sense of belongingness, and they want to be able to say after they do something, "I belong here." That is the central thread. So if we're looking at the purpose um, in people want to have a destination when they're going somewhere, but they want to have a purpose behind that destination. And um, we can communicate what that purpose is and why this destination is, these destinations are important through our communications and various design techniques. Um, people also want to gain some knowledge in addition to um, some physical exertion and exercise folks want to have a sense of accomplishment. And that's like these top two things are like the, the real like meat of it. Um, signage is important. You know, people want to have their comfort zones as well. You know, some water, a place to sit, some pull-offs, scenic views, a rest stop, you know, and of course food. That makes people feel like they feel safe. Um, it also allows for a group um, to bond um, with people they know and also um, strangers, you know, folks they don't know at all. Um, people also want to have the opportunity to go, to go beyond the mainstream. And in a trail situation, in a, in a situation where um, the route, everything is figured out, it's a safe place to go beyond um, the norm. So being able to create a, a trail, a tour, an experience where people can get outside of themselves, um, it is a perfect way to um, engage an audience. Um, also, people are looking for a unique experience. And regardless if um, their friends did it last week or their neighbor down the street, being able to have a unique experience for themselves is important. They want to feel like they've bla blazed a new trail, they've done something new. And of course, kid slash pet friendly. Um, and again, the way to do all of that, it is through your content. 
um, in what materials and your marketing materials and your social media post and your newsletter and all of your communication if you're infusing the ideas that um, that this is a you know a safe environment that can mean from lighting to this is what you'll see so people can know what to expect there's also um, the content that is actually expressed from things that are written on the trail via signage or if there's um, a guided situation or an audio tour that goes along with it that there's a variety of stories um, again getting out of the mainstream with civil bikes we focus on stories of women lgbtqai plus um, black folks immigrant people poc because we don't normally center our stories around them. So by um, packing that in, people can get out of the mainstream and they can also have a new experience. Um, also locating um, and creating a sense of, sense of place. So all of these things, they create a meaning and also um, it taps into their like um, inner desires their per and their personal purpose-driven motives and um, so and so there are two types in my opinion there are like two types of uh, tours slash um, trails that can be designed there are organization-led design tours and then there's those experiences that are co-created with community and in my experience I feel like this is the difference going from um, better to best or you know like there's that from good to great there's that book title and so um, and we're civil bikes is in the process of um, doing more materials that's co-created uh, and not just leaning on the organization um, really taking the the lead but um, I will say that these are more content heavy um, it's more historical narratives um, and it takes a lot of effort for to get community to buy in and also to have trust. And that's a good thing um, because you'll see on the next slide, um, in a co-created process, a community and be it a trail system inside of a city or that runs through a town, um, the community itself also wants to buy in so they can talk about what's important because it's really about representation. So, um, and um, I will say also in organizational led um, design, you're, we're leaning more on feedback mechanisms from social media, from survey, from participants. So all those things are important. And um, we'll just say like, and then on the back end, it's getting the community to, to participate and also to co-create. Not a bad thing, um, it's not terrible, but again, it's like going from, from um, good to great. So in a co-created tour, um, this is not necessarily a process slide, but it kind of does lead from one thing to the next. Starting out with community informing, um, we say informing the practice, in, informing um, the scale, informing the stories, informing what is being, you know, how they're being represented presented is important and at the end of it it leads to higher event participation um, because it starts with something that's more personalized um, and it will work together with historical information and um, a lot of times I know this that with the stories and narratives that we like to use it's not always documented in history so it's going to take um, having those individuals to speak to their experiences and sharing that, being willing to share that, um, to really make that experience way more dynamic. Um, and this even means like, you know, a trail that runs through a town, what is important? You know, what places and spaces do people want folks to see? What do they want to pass by? And and generally, that could be something that's really out of the scope of an organization that's designing something. Um, so, you know, being able to, to tap into, um, you know, that like personal, personalized, very sp the specificities of an area, a community is important. Um, so, and also communicate, you know, values. And, and it's um, something that's co-created, it has purpose and not just an agenda. Having an agenda is important. 
my agenda is really about equity and justice. And, um, but adding into that um, a broader purpose is also important. So, you know, co-creation allows for that. And it also allows for a variety of perspectives to be included, um, which can be a complicated process, but it's one that's important to have. Um, and because we do want the outcome of higher participation. So um, some of the challenges in creating this, um, it is this feeling of going against the grain um, because we are, you know, that means that we are doing something different. Um, and there's always that feeling of, I need to get it right. But the question is, by whose standards? Whose standards are we using to say what is right? You know, what feels good and what feels safe? And if, you're, if we are listening to communities and if we know some of the statistics that are out there for Black people who are on bikes or who are walking, what they experience, if we know what people who identify um, LGBTQAI plus are more harassed when they are out in public. Um, immigrants, you know, visibly, you know, this is like a visible difference. Um, if we know that there are safety challenges, then we need to recognize that and design a space where there are signs that um, these individuals are welcome. Um, and in addition to some challenges, and it's like, how do you do that? they must be a part of the process, um, especially if we are in those communities as running through those, a trail through a community, um, we, need to re uh, we need to reflect that. Um, so bringing in multiple perspectives, content creation, we also developing a team, um, by having, being a, a values-driven organization yourself, um, and I'll talk a little bit more about um, intention, um, a team that is identifies with the values that have been set um, really makes a strong team. So building and connecting with um, organizations, businesses, individuals, groups that identify with their values, um, whether it's a trail situation, they will help you to program that trail. They will take an interest and really be involved in the trail and that tour process and, and you know, selling, quote unquote, um, what you are doing. So that's a part of, it's a challenge, but it's also a great benefit. Um, and then I will say keeping up with the demands for outreach, because if we want, you know, this support network, we also have to, we want them to come out for us, we've got to come out for them too. So um, those are some challenges, but um, so what does success look like? Um, I will say that success for creating belongingness looks very different from numbers, you know, like 10,000. It's, you know, it's a, something that is ahead of the curve. It's something that demonstrates vision and purpose. Um, it's, it's a creation of solutions for problems. So how do we make um, various groups feel like they belong here? Um, how do we give people an opportunity to, you know, get outside of their comfort zones? Um, how do we um, lead people to interact with different businesses and organizations? Um, that is creating a solution um, that could be um, for bringing um, new customers to businesses that are struggling because they're not on the main streets. So that could be an economic um, boost for various communities. So um, another sign of success is when unusual suspects come out, when you have a diverse, um, widely segmented audience. Um, that is um, that is success. Um, feedback, you know, requests and demands. Um, those are, that's another sign of success because people are interested. They're connected. Feel connected to what you're doing, so they will offer you um, offer you their feedback and also acknowledging and valuing those that are supportive um, that are part of the process. Um, 
again, just to highlight um, some of the best practices going beyond in the mainstream, um, representing various groups that need to be highlighted in your community, leading with values. It can never be expressed. Um, say it again, again, and again. It's never too much. Um, having great signs, um, you know, start off small and then go big. Um, as you get more feedback around um, signage, what is needed, where people want to go, being able to add that um, is great. Communication, again, it's never too much. Um, communicating your values, communicate who you want to see, communicate um, what people can experience, all of those things are important. Every step of the process, um, infuse evaluation opportunities, um, develop partnerships with people who fit your values, um, and those who represent the community that you are in um, is important. So talk up you know, these businesses, these spaces off the trail, off the tour that people can experience. Um, give them something to remember. Also, be conscious to validate all aspects of um, what's important. You know, again, that communication. And I, I lead, I'm leaving or kind of finishing here with this idea of being intentional because intention without um, action is meaningless. So, you know, if you start off with um, demonstrating all of your values, people will understand what your intentions are. What creates belongingness? Um, there are several different things. And if you reached out, you will get a star. Um, Woohoo! So being intentional <laughs> um, and inserting this intentionality in your design, in your trail, in your tour route, in your content, you know, um, offering a way for people to participate be it your team members, be it in your partnerships, and even those who are on your tour. You know, maybe they post a photo of their experience later. Um, maybe there's some way to gamify what they're doing. But, you know, giving everyone an opportunity to participate, um, it creates, you know, value that also creates your content. There's so much that's tied to it. Um, informing people how their feedback because you're asking for it, how it um, helps to create change, um, and that their their responses are also valuable. Um, can't express like having gratitude um, for small and large things is important. Um, kind of being a one stop, a one person shop is really um, tough to remember to to express that gratitude. But expressing gratitude um, every step of the way is important. Even a simple thank you. Um, Elements to physical design, um, and I, I really can't express this enough, you know, it's the aesthetics. Um, if you're in a community that has a high Latinx population or an, a large um, Muslim community that lives there, having, a des having design from those cultures to infuse what um, the signage look like is important. What, um, you know, maybe some of the vocabulary is important maybe some of the other tangible, intangible expressions of various cultures are important to include, um, not just saying, you know, or highlighting certain businesses, et cetera. It's also in the design techniques that we use to, um, to, to signify, you know, what our trails are, or designated trail. Um, and also just, again, it's communication. So um, other ways that we communicate, if it's not just verbally or in written format, um, images go a long way. If we are saying that we want people of different races, of different classes, gender expressions and abilities um, to be a part of um, and to utilize a trail um, to participate on an experience, to come on a tour, um, that we need to have them physically represented um, in the communication. So um, and that is really powerful and it gives everyone, um, you know, a place to be. So um, we're coming to the end um, of my presentation, but I'm wondering what questions do you have? What situations have you experienced? And also what did I miss? And you can 
um, interact with me on the day of this presentation and afterwards by going to our website. There's a contact us page. You can email me. We're also on Twitter. I will be on Twitter to like live tweet with you so we can do that. There's also IG, again, imagery. I would love to see your post. You can hashtag us at Simple Bikes. Um, thank you so much. Um, I am, would love to get in contact with folks um, for consulting on tours or trails or whatever, but also to give feedback and to receive feedback. So good luck, enjoy the rest of the summit and stay healthy. Thank you, Nedra, and thank you all for joining us. Um, you can find our other sessions for the virtual Greenway Summit on greenway.org.